Right, welcome to a preview of a map. Now this is a uh, work in progress at the moment. Now you might, you might know that everybody needs a hobby. Well, the author of this has a hobby and he's told me uh, his hobby is playing about in GE. And he does a bloody good job of it, even as I say so myself. Now, this is Maypole by Cavalier Roy. Now he uh, let me have an early copy, and I'm just going to read a little bit of what he's what he uh, wrote to me about. Um, oh, where are we? Hello. Uh, but it's it's got seasons ready. I sort of read. Oh, I might as well read from there. See how the new map is going. It's now seasons ready. Uh, Although the snow mass needs a little clean up here and there. The grazing mod is built into the map as well as the, as, the, as its script. So no need for the mod to be in your mods folder. Good news. And we will, we will check that, that the, the grazing mod is actually in there. I have no reason to doubt Roy. But uh, just for those of you, I'm looking at you Stu, who are a little bit more cynical. We will check that. The map is based on a real place and some of the fields are uh, as you would see see them. The dairy farm is fictional in placement, buildings arrangement, but is near to where it's located in the real world. The sheep farm, however, is fully fictional. The mill and bale cell points are placeholders and will be placed with new buildings, along with animal cell point. Right, and he's gave me full permission to do a video on it, so that's what I'm going to do. Right, this is the farmhouse. Now, it's just standard farmhouse no open and closing doors the chickens are over here and if i was playing this i'd know put that chicken collector in or and i think you could fit that in there quite nicely uh the gtx uh chicken mod i think that'd fit in there quite nicely i think that'd fit over here yes i think it would which would you know make it even better in my opinion but that's just me no this is as you know, Roy, just like this, with this last map, and I'm just going to close the gate. As, as we can, you can hear, unlike Newbie, they've got full sound effects now. Yes. Cows are here, and you start with some cows. Um, let's see how many you start with. So just pull this up. I'm keeping the frame counter going so you can see what the frames are like. You start with 60 cows. And you, the cleanliness is 98%. Well, I'm... I wouldn't probably put the animal clean mod on if I was playing it because I was getting a little bit fed up with having to clean them, but that's just me. Uh, it's fairly standard there, but it's 60 on this one. <laughs> I'd like the 20 you get with newbie version 4. Now, version 4 was built, and you can all blame me, to be particularly difficult. I'm just going to shut the uh, doors off here. This is... This is uh, one of the ways in and out. I haven't actually checked through fully to find out how many there is. This is the one I've been using. But, uh, but you see full doors on there. Everything, just about every door you see on the farm works. So if you're getting close enough and press the right button. This takes you to, into the codes. This should be where you bought, uh, put new uh, codes you bought. It is indeed. And you can see here... You feed troughs, all that, and you, you can see you get a silo king. You get plenty of uh, equipment. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just shut this up so they don't escape. Oh, what I was going to do was just show you that the grazing mod is in. Now, if we stand on here, if you look on the top left-hand corner, right at the bottom of the uh, hut there is grass and co pasture. No leaves. Well, there's no leaves because it's early spring and the grass isn't growing yet. But that shows that the grazing mod is active. Which means that no having to find grass for them during the grass growing season. But the beauty of it is that means that there will be no grass in there when the grass dies. Now that's that I like to see. I think what we better do is have a look at the equipment which you get before we have a proper look at the map. So we go over the garage. Now, it's a good selection of small equipment. Now this farm is, I will tell you now, it's suited, really well suited to the modern classics pack. I'm playing this off screen a bit to get a feel of it, using the modern classic pack where possible with 
small equipment where it's not. And at the moment, I have, uh, as you say, I've got MR on here at the moment. That's just because it happened to be in this mod folder. Right, we've got, and I didn't bother to take it off. Well, we've got the case uh, 1455s, Sammy 40s, Massey MF7700, case uh, axle flow and with header and header trailer, axle liner trailer, uh, Terra disc uh, cultivator, Amazon plow. I feel this plow might be slightly too big. I think I think I'd go slightly smaller. And same with the horse here. This is nine meters far too big ready for this map. But I'm certain that will be changed. And this, I think, up to six meter equipment will work well on this one. Anything over, you might be pushing a bit. You got a Ulysses uh, fertilizer spreader, Joskin uh, slurry injector. Now this, uh, as I, I'm guessing it's a British map. It's almost a must because you're not allowed to use flash plate in Britain. You have to inject it into the soil. So this would be the right thing to use. The light is big, but there's nothing smaller available. So as I know, we're not in standard. The smaller muck spreader yeah old standby punisher mowers and a coon a rake did i see a i mean got to get the bergman uh forage uh, wagon might be slightly bigger i'm using uh, check with it. oh no we have well i got plenty of plenty of horsepower i just a little bit worried that would be a little bit bigger using the modern pl uh, classics pack you need to go down to the euro boss i would suggest uh the pickup i never use a pickup i know you always end up selling those as the first thing um and we're seeing the silo king again i think i'd swap that over for the oh the, forget the name of it now forget my own name I think I put it in here. Anyway, the Keenan. And I'd get the second hand one. That looks better to my mind. It fits better. But again, that's just me. Ignore what I say. Let's go back to where we got to. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Coon. Now, this is from the Coon Pack. Now, you notice. If you haven't got the Coon Pack, I don't think you would get a tether. He's got a bale wrapper and a baler, all from the Coon Pack. But if not, you just put those in. Now, I sold all this stuff. Now, now, let's have a quick look at the map. Now, that's your, your starting equipment. A quick look at the map. Oh, gone past that. You might just, if you look closely, though, we're just closing. This is where you start. And do you notice something, eh? You don't own any fields. Now, this is, this is a still work in progress. So... Royal Low, this is easier than the uh, newbie uh, version 4. This has still got a few uh, things to bite you. You have to buy your fields for a start of. But, no fear. This has got something I, I normally love on maps. I'm just going to turn the grass on. To wit, if we find the right uh, barn. Not this one. This one. I think it's this one. We have nuggets, and all the nuggets in one place. Great. If you don't want to use them, ignore them. It's like a bit, a bit to go in and out here and, and not touch them. But, uh, but if you want them, it's a matter of seconds to pick them all up. Now, what I've done in the, my playthrough, I've sold every piece of equipment and re-bought all the stuff then I went and did that this is the uh, money cheap mod the best one where you add one or two units or take away one or two units you don't have to do the lot right so you know got it difficult there is no fool on the farm which I'm happy to see and he's also 
Toyn was the idea of taking away the fertiliser and uh, seed triggers, which, as you know if you watch my videos, I tend to do anyway. Now, price of fields. Uh, this is under a hectare, and it's forty-one for just over forty-one thousand. Good price, I think. I think the price he hit the price about right. Cows are over here. Oh, and where do we, where do we, uh, feed and water them? I'm guessing that's inside. There we are. Yes, there's a. Yes, water is here. Work well, you know, it's water mod. Now, there's no pigs on this farm. It's cattle and sheep only. And chickens. Must have got the chickens, right? I think everything else is fed from... The, you can get to from the outside. This is the grass hay trough and the uh, other trough. Or mixed feed is inside the barn. We've already seen that. All right, let's get over here and close them up. Hello, Bessie. But with 60 cows, you're going to make money fairly quickly. And your main task, I would suggest, for start off, is making certain you you grow some crops to get high. As far as I can see at the moment, there is no bio stored. I know Roy normally gives you plenty of bales, but this one, he's just decided he's been a bit too generous. Alright, round here, that's your, your, uh, that's your silage uh, bunker. And down here, that's your BGA. Now, he's taking the same thing Scooter Hill should do, put the BGA on the farm. No pro I have no problem with that at all. And I think actually here you could most probably put a uh, conveyor in. That's what I'm playing with on Newbie actually, on my private copy of Newbie first before. I got the money together and I managed to put a conveyor in there so I can actually tip it in a lot quicker. But it's not far to do that. It's a good course play course here. I reckon to empty the uh, bunker and put into the BGA. And prices, oh yes. Remembering how we cut the prices on everything on uh, Newbie? Well, we're back up to normal. This is on hard mode. So you see the prices are about where you expect them. You're not going to be making, doing a lot of work and making nothing for it. Uh, ignore the grass, because I think I've got one of the uh, combines on what adds the grass mod in here. I never use it. I, uh, also, you notice it's water, uh, steamed and uh, washed potatoes there. That's because I've got the uh, the potato wash from my mods folder. But we go back here, these are all standard. Now, your cell points at the moment are small. I don't know if he's going to add any more or not. And you notice there's no selling of any of this stuff at the barn here because I've got seasons so on. Seasons. So, uh, so you you shouldn't. But the your cell points are small, but I don't think it matters. Let's go back to the map. We're going to see where everything is, and we just oh, no, don't go too much on the uh, map as yet. This has still got to be tidied up fully. I'm not certain if let's see if the mill is actually there yet. The mill's done. Well, say done. He might want. A, tidy things up a bit here there's a little field here which I think could be used for placeables there's no number on it at the moment but I think this would work for placeables and over here, what have we got over here now a lot of this I haven't explored fully I haven't had this map that long and life being what it is as you may have seen on Saturday's video uh, it's a bit hectic just at the moment yeah this is your Bale destroyer. It's actually uh, operational. Yeah, yeah, fully operational. Oh, that, by the way, is the uh, the the little uh, bit what John's building, so you can actually see what's happening. Uh, I've 
if I was playing with it, just playing the game, I wouldn't bother to activate it. But for doing things like this, uh, it's very handy. This, you sell just for everything here. Let's just check that I have that right. Mill, yeah. Uh, yeah, every, everything is sold at the mill. All your crops. The only things what ain't are the spinnery and the BGA, which is, of course, on the farm. Right. Let's have a look. The barn. Is that actually here? Oops, I don't want to just save the game, don't mind. Yeah, here we are. Oh, this is the bit we were just in. Of course. The barn where you get rid of the bales. And the only other one here is oh At the moment, this this is the fuel. Yeah, the only place you can buy fuel. So you will need to buy a, a little tanker, I would say. As uh, so I'm playing the again, so I'm playing the MR. I have to use the uh, in-game tanker. It's the only one what's, what seems to work properly with MR. Well, this is where you buy and sell your vehicles, and uh, everything's reset back here. So beware. And last bit we will look at here, yeah, where we can find it, is the spinnery. How's he put that in here? Now ignore all these here. They're not where they sh say that. See this? It's nothing at the moment. That's the uh, mill over there. These are just th these are just placeable. So oh, just to be sorted out now. I'm not sure what's over here. Can't see the spinnery on there, but now it's you see a lot of the things have got to be tidied up. Now he he did make a slight error and forget to uh, activate the triggers on the fuel station. I'm just going to pick up a tractor and we have a little drive around, have a look at it. Uh, there is absolutely no errors at all, and even with all the stuff I'm playing, I don't want that one. I'll find a tractor. That one. I know other people use. Uh, oh, no, I don't use the Sammy a lot. Let's take the Sammy out. Shall we just get into it? And I also got gearbox mod on here, which is probably a mistake when you're doing something like this. It's a lot flatter than the newbie. Uh, and I always talk about the difficulty of maps. Now. We got used to newbie farm being. How should we put it tough? No, I think I'm in the wrong area here. Can't remember. No, is this the right one? I can't remember now. Let's just sort this out a bit of a look. No, that's not the one. One of these. And I've got to learn which one. Not this one. No. Takes you out past the farmhouse. Oh, of course, it's this. This one? Yes, it's this one. I like this silo system in here. It looks the part. And your spade for lunas is up there. Now, if you're, if you're anything like me, once you open these gates, they never get closed again. Unless, of course, you all play properly. <laughs> you probably do, I don't. Uh, I try to, but uh, I have a short ex attention span I forget about it. Uh, right, now the road you know is when we come out of cab once we get past the yeah, house better. A narrow. This is just a farm road, so don't expect this one to be too big. This also means you can't bring really big equipment down and I can't drive to save me life. I'm just going to Take the gears down a bit. That'll do. That'll be hmm, it's a bit too slow. Here we go. That's better. It's about 10 mile an hour should do. Is we, we don't want to go any faster than that down here. Now, all the fields are nicely laid out. Uh, now, 
collision on all hedges, which I personally like to see. I know some people don't, I do. I, I happen to like that. And if, if there's anything in the middle of the field, I haven't noticed anything yet. I hope that's got collisions on. It's not meant to be a simple game. Yes, oh, and get back to my point I've been trying to make for the last 10 minutes. Difficulty of games. Now, CCS has just released three games, or three maps, all difficult. Rocky Mountain. And it's all done in the geos, most says. Rocky Mountain. In some years, you will not be able to plant or harvest anything. Think about it. And there's only a limited amount of crops you can grow. Uh, he's got Amazon Island, which... Uh, or Amazon Island, which has a Luder Islands, and you have to, and only one of them is the cell points on, so you have to use the ferry to get back with the ports. See what's down there. You can't go by the uh, indicators. Now you see this, get on the proper side of the road, the track that only just fits along this road. It is very tight map. It's a typical British map. Now, I know a lot of people don't like typical British maps, and I can't say about it. If you want an easy life, you don't want to play a British map. If you want a bit of fun, they're great. They are great. If you want a bit of a challenge, well, what's in here anyway? I think we're going too slow now, it's just. Now we'll go down there and have a look and see what that is, because this... Yes, I'll same, keep reminding you, this is very much work in progress. Now what's over here? Oh, I think this is the Animal Boy 5 point over here. Now, gates everywhere. You can see the end of the map is just ahead of us. But he has put decent sized gates in. Just check this one swings the right way, it does indeed. Let's have a look through which way this swing, yeah. Right. Now this could be an interesting uh, field to have to work on. There's another gate up here, there's gates all over the show. This is a that's kind of typical Roy map. You've got a, you've got your mine roads, but you also got dirt roads that go everywhere. And this is a big bigger field. This is two hectares. That's one hundred and three thousand. I think the price is good. Missions, as you see, on all fields. So you you can make money just by doing missions. All right, let's carry on. Get back to the tractor. There we are. Never. Oh, the way here. This, as I said, is the sell point. Buy and sell vehicle point, and anything else. This is quite nice because you've got. You can come around here. I'm oh, just getting close enough. You see the trigger works now. <laughs> it didn't work first, did I? I noticed there was no fuel on the farm, so I bought a tanker. Come up here. Went to fill it up. No joy. And I contacted Roy almost straight away via PCSG. And all the maps I mentioned so far PCSG, by the way. Just so you know where to go. We seem to be getting a collection of the more difficult maps. Oh, and I was telling you about uh, CCS, this one. And this last one is an island. Sheep only. Nowhere to sell grain at all. How do you get in here? I've gone past the gate again. I know where we are. Now what's this? Now I think this is, as I say, work in progress. This looks almost like another... Let's see what this cell point is. Um, cause you can't see like that, can you? Let's just highlight the spinner and see where that is. Oops. Ah, this is the spinnery. This is the wool cell point. Just 
give it a hack in if you drive into it, it should disappear it has so this is where you sell your wool we have a little drive around, I'd say it's only going to be a quick look I haven't as much time as I hope to get a full look round but as, you, as I said earlier on, this is small equipment only oh yes, I was talking about that CCS's bump uh, Palmer Clinus, I think, tested all, all looked at all the maps on his excellent series about uh, different maps new maps um, and I was watching him use it well, one of the things you don't do on that map by the way is run more realistic you fall off the edge now this looks as if it should be fine there's some slope but I don't think there's anything too horrendous no traffic uh, I haven't actually noticed people but uh, then again I haven't been near a town yet I haven't found a town yet there's bound to be one in there somewhere there always is See, we've come to the end here, and I think we're going to have to turn around fairly soon. We've got close to the edge of the map again. I'll tell you one thing, it ain't Norfolk, because there's too many mountains, but I don't know if you can just drive off here and turn around, if that's allowed. We'll soon find out. If we hit an invisible barrier like that, no, it's not allowed. So we have to... One thing to remember on these maps, has never drove to the end with a trailer unless you want to reset back to the uh, a garage there's a mixture of uh, grass and fields of medicine fields um, and so there's a hell of a lot of these where you go off road and there's a pathway that takes you to more fields I don't think it's gone quite as mad on trees on this one here I'm going to get inside the cab for a little while I'm exploring now I haven't I haven't been up this side of the map so far so this is new for me as well and what we got here let's have a look It looks like a barn that you can use. Oh, this is sheep. This is sheep. Yeah. Let's just double check on that. Yes, this is the sheep barn. Yeah, we found it. And of course, the grazing mod on here. When we get some uh, grass growing. You'll have a limited number of sheep and not really bother, except for the winter, feeding them. Which is actually more realistic. You don't normally feed the uh, animals, animals in pasture during the spring, uh, well, mid spring on. You let them get on with it. You give them some supplements, but you don't give them their main feed. Now, I have no idea where the wool bales spawn. It's only just, oh, you just throw the, the sheep farm. I like this. Yeah, I like this. I uh, noticed that one review of one of the earlier newbies, but the reviewer was complaining that the old Compton on the fact that all the uh, he's used the same builds throughout his, his career. But if it works, why not? I'm just looking to see if there's anywhere here where they, you can see they spawn. Well, that is. Uh, ah, there's a spawn here. That purple there. Oh, no, no, that's a water spawn, sorry. That's the water. Just put that up again. Nothing in here. I'm looking for an orange spawn point. See if I can see one. It may well spawn the other side. What have we got here? Ah, uh, that's another. That's for the... Oh no, this is for the field, so it isn't here. There's, there's bound to be a spawn point somewhere. I'll put one way to find it. Let's put some sheep in there. 
but I ain't got any uh, things to feed them on. So possibly not, but some sheep in there at the moment. Now I can't see the spawn point, but there's bound to be there. Or if it isn't there yet, it will be. The red there indicate <laughs> solid barriers. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering what all the different colours mean. I can't see where they spawn, but I'm going to guess they spawn it. No, we know that's where you buy them. Feed trough there. Water there. Not at really matters, because this. So it's still a few weeks away from being released, but uh, he's taking a break at the moment because so he don't want he don't want to get burned out. Well, what we do, I think we we might probably leave it here. We we'll have another look at the map as it stands at the moment, ignoring the icons because most of them are in the completely the wrong place. But it looks fine to me. Now, I'm not certain if he's going. He's thinking about expanding. But at the moment you've got a lot of fields already is fifty six uh yeah, fifty seven, fifty eight, sixty three. Well it looks like there's around sixty three fields, all of different sizes. These are the meadows here. And the meadows are don't look a like meadow. They're just a meadow. But I think these um just only uh, sowable grass, so you can actually cultivate these as per normal, not even having to plow to create field. And this is 38,000. Uh, let's get back to the uh, farmyard itself. I'll leave that trap right there. I'm going to destroy this particular save anyway, just save it on someone else. Plenty of storage space. I don't know what the uh, capacity of your bins are on here. Let's have a look. Should tell me. Uh, storage capacity, 100 thousand of each unit. That's not too bad. On the size fields here, you're not going to want more than that. And all these work. You see the, the muck comes down here. Drive right through. Actually, I think that would probably be left open all the time. Well, that is my pole boys, Cavalier Roy. First look, early access. Well, not early access. This is work in progress. Could ch all change after he sees this? I am playing, not as much as I want at the moment, because I'm just too flaming busy, but I am playing off screen and enjoying it. I always enjoy one of Roy's maps there. I don't know why. It's, there's, there's, there's a, as you most probably have, will have found, each map maker has its own, has their own particular feel when you're playing one of their maps. Roy's are always small fields. Cows, you start with cows. Well, I say always. Just recently, been you start with a certain number of cows. Mostly. Uh, Extras in there. I don't think the chop straw because I don't. I know Roy's not a great fan of chop straw, so he tends not to put it in his maps. This was a potato field. Actually, corner this. They're ready. They could be harvested. Well, I'm not going to pick up a potato harvester now. Oh, with that, I think we will find somewhere to take a screenshot. I'll get up high again. I know I could use the uh, fly thingy, and you know, I might have to. Yeah, I think we will. And I very rarely use it. I've got to remember how now. This. Just trying to. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. I know what's the wrong one. Ah, ah that's the one. <laughs> Uh, da, da, just 
this is where all your extra little bits are in there if you want to check things out power consumers ah oh, come on flight uh right now we should if i can remember how have a fly but if i could remember how which i can't so we shan't bother <laughs> I never, I never use it. That's a problem. Ah, here we are. Now one of these should take you up. Oh, no one. And one of these other buttons should take you up. That takes you down. Oh, I forgot how how you do this now. Never mind. I have to look up in my little book. Someone will probably tell me, you damn fool, you picked you got on the wrong buttons. Any anyway, let's see if we can get somewhere we can get a good shot. There's not going to climb in these buildings, can I? Oh, close, but no cigar. Now, oh, what's well, rather a mess about here? What is this, anyway? Is this? That's a trough. <clears throat> no, I can't jump. I can't jump. I'm getting too old. If I brought one of these out, I could probably jump on that and jump. Ah, there we are, I think. Yep, we got it. We can get up high. There is, there is a way. This is better. Right, what I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this. It's not going to show too much of it. Oh, I already get rid of the HUD as well. Anyway, with that, I was Mammon saying thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please consider a like. Keep an eye open for this to be released somewhere in the near future. I'm guessing near future because, let's face it, 19 is on the horizon. And if you like Roy's map making, this is another good, will be another good map. I'm convinced this is going to be another good map. If it isn't, I'll eat a cream a pie, how about that? A nice cream bun. I'm not eating me hat. I ain't got one. Only me crash helmet. Uh, right, if, you, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. Always happy to have new people aboard. I think any comments, questions, queries, feel free to post them in the comment section. Keep an eye on PCSG from when this is released. Also, if you like tough matches, have a look at Newbie Farm version 4 on PCSG, which I think is the only version they're showing on there. And the CCS maps, the three CCS maps, also on PCSG, if you like a challenge. But be warned, they are difficult. Especially if you plan properly. No cheaty of money. Alright, was that it? Man, I'm saying cheerio for now. Cheerio.